Space station batteries weighing 2.9 ton are falling down on the earth. The massive array of discarded batteries were connected to a robotic arm that helped it to be released roughly 265 miles above the earth's surface. But in case you were wondering that the massive heap of batteries is coming crashing to earth anytime soon, you would be surprised to know that this will spend around 2 to 4 years in the lower earth orbit. The detachment came right after NASA completed the upgradation of the ISS battery replacing the dated 48 nickel hydrogen batteries within 24 lithium ion units. The last big object to be dropped from the International Space Station was the early ammonia servicing system tank that was jettisoned by the spacewalker Clay Anderson during the STS-118 missions in 2007. The International Space Station has detached a large 2.9 ton pallet of batteries that used to power the space station and is now headed straight for the Earth. The massive energy of discarded batteries were connected to a robotic arm that helped it to be released roughly 265 miles above the Earth's surface. The detachment came right after NASA completed its upgradation of the International Space Station batteries replacing the dated 48 nickel hydrogen batteries and 24 lithium ion units. Surprisingly, the battery model was then going to be left into the orbit to disintegrate like this. It was actually going to return to Earth intact aboard the Japanese H-2 transfer vehicle. However, it had to be left out after a failed Soyuz launch, launch from 2018 that completely altered the spacewalk schedules. The NASA communication specialist Lee Cheshire said in a statement to Spaceflight that this was the largest object mass-wise to ever be sent from the International Space Station weighing at 2.9 tons. The last object to be dropped from the International Space Station was the early ammonia servicing system tank that was jettisoned by the spacewalker Clay Anderson during the STS-118 missions in 2007. But this isn't the largest space debris to fall from the lower Earth orbit to the Earth. That title has been held by China's Long March 5B rocket which took off from Earth on May 11, 2020. What was the unique about this rocket was that it didn't have a second stage detachment, it was all just one whole stage. After conducting its mission six days later, it headed uncontrollably back to the earth, a nearly 21 ton vehicle, something the Chinese team wasn't really expecting would happen. Luckily, it ended up crashing into the Indian Ocean. Space Station stores a 2.9 ton hunk of space junk overboard. It will stay in the orbit for years. The space junk, junk is expected to fall back to the Earth in two to four years. The update also stated that the pallet will burn up harmlessly in the atmosphere, but not everyone is convinced in this case. The International Space Station has detested a large 2.9 ton pallet of 48 nickel hydrogen batteries which is now headed towards the Earth. This set of 2.9 ton of garbage in addition to almost 34,000 pieces of space junk along with millions of smaller objects already floating around the earth. 
The process of swapping of batteries initiated in 2016 when NASA began sending the new batteries through HTV cargo spacecraft, a process which took almost four years to complete and conducted by 13 astronauts and 14 spacewalks to complete. The space junk is expected to fall back to the Earth in two to four years and the NASA and the other space agencies have wrote the update last week and NASA says that this will burn up harmlessly, harmlessly in the atmosphere. But however, other space agencies and other space people are not convinced that the space junk will not fall back without harming the atmosphere. Thank you for watching and for new videos please subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell icon.